Hello and welcome to fit to box channel and today I've got a Velcro belt fit to box Velcro belt title matchup between the champion the Sabas super soft glove and the challenger a pair of winning custom gloves in black and gold so just to start off with a word about my head-to-head -head videos I attempt to cover all aspects of the gloves over the 12 rounds to provide you with a hopefully entertaining and informative closer look at both gloves please use my videos to make the best decisions for you uh, your tastes and what you want from your gloves may be totally different to what I look for look at the videos don't just listen to my views if there are rounds where they don't really matter to you then don't take those rounds into account some people don't care about brands or style or cost even to others those things are massively important I try to be as honest and fair and unbiased as possible in my scoring uh, and it would be so easy to just award rounds either way but some rounds it's so close it has to be a 10-10 round because of some of the rounds are so specific this does make scoring very subjective and harder to keep to the 10 points must system where ideally there is a winner of around 10-9 but say for example just say if it was the thumb a thumb round then there's not that much if they're both good thumbs it would be too harsh to give one 10 points and one 9 points if there's not really that much of a difference. That's just an example. So and just also, just to reassure you, I score the rounds round by round. I have no agenda. I have no uh, sort of bias towards any particular glove. Um, I score the rounds and see which glove wins. And then obviously I'll sense check it at the end just to make sure that I've made the right call on each of the rounds. But as far as the actual result goes, literally I put a glove against another glove and we just see where the chips fall at the end of the rounds. So that said, we have the fit to box Velcro belt title match between the Sabas Supersoft, the current reigning champion, a glove that won the title against a normal standard winning glove and they've also defended that title against two other gloves the fighting sports s2 glove and also the sabas glove defeated the rival rs2v glove to defend that title and keep it so great champion it's been so far will that reign continue and then here we have the custom glove, the winning black and gold title challenger. Right, let's start off. Round one, brand. Great reputation of Sabas, growing and growing. You can see from their sort of Instagram and their social media, this, this company is really, really doing well. And uh, there's no reason why they shouldn't. They produce some excellent stuff. So great reputation, uh, growing all the time. Uh, when it comes to winning, they have got a massive reputation when it comes to their training gear, especially amongst the top, top professionals. For that reason, I am going to give it a 10, 9 round to the winning glove. Round 2, wrist. When it comes to the wrist, on the actual challenger glove the winning you can see that that is a four inch velcro the width of it is four inches which gives much better support than the normal winning glove which is a much thinner sort of strap when it comes to the wrist of the sabas glove that's a longer wrist but it's a slimmer wrist uh, actual width there you go that nice silvery badge on the back there and that wraps round and does secure the wrist very very well also but i am going to give this one 10 points to the winning with that extra uh, support in the wrist and nine points to the sabas super soft round three thumb the winning glove has got that long 
comfortable thumb and also the Sabas glove has a very comfortable thumb. I have to say though there is a bit of a gathering of the lining inside on, on the thumb of this glove uh, and my thumb is sort of quite close to the end of the thumb. Just for that reason, it is a close round, but for that reason I am going to give it 10 points to the winning glove and 9 points to the Sabas glove. Round 4, face of the glove. Face of the glove for the champion. You've got these bits of padding here, which is on the face of the glove. You can see there nice pieces of padding and then on the winning glove there is no padding you have got sort of the indicator there across the grip bar but there isn't any padding on the face of the glove for that reason round four face of the glove 10 points to the sabas and nine points to the winning then we come on to round five knuckle area i'll just show you those great knuckle area on the winning and great knuckle area on the sabas very very good it's a 10 10 round round six stitching the stitching on both of these gloves is very solid uh, really is good let's bring that round that's the sabas and there we've got the winning as well so I'll bring that round there um, there's a few strands here and there on the Sabas but nothing too significant so I am going to give that as a 10-10 round round 7 durability I have to say that with the um, with the Sabas uh, the lining is a little baggier on the inside it's showing little signs that the winning glove would last longer and of course, winning have got that proven track record that their gloves last years and years. In terms of sort of this glove here, uh, cosmetically, the, the, the bit of gold has come off there. Um, but I think with metallic gloves, you are going to have to expect that uh, that will dull on any metallic glove, not just the winning. Um, but in terms of durability, I am going to give it 10 points to the winning glove and nine points to the sabash just because i just feel that the winning glove would last longer even though this sabash glove will last you years also then round eight comfort i've already sort of covered off that there is a bit of a gathering of the lining in this glove uh, around sort of the fingers and the thumb but it is a very comfortable glove and I've already marked it down in the durability round so I'm not going to mark it down again, again in this round both of these gloves excellent comfort when it comes to using them 10-10 round 9 style and the champion Uzi style really nice colourways and also that silver badge at the back and then the custom colours of the winning in the black and the gold. I really do think that that is very, very stylish. And for that reason, can't split them again on the round nine. It's a 10-10. Round 10 protection. And you have got two very, very comfortable gloves when it comes to protection. Really do protect your hands in all the, in all the right areas. And this round is a 10-10. Round 11, performance when using these, especially in sparring, both uh, are great when it comes to sparring. I cycle my gloves and uh, so I don't use the same gloves each time when I'm sparring. But the amount of times that I pick this glove up and the amount of times that I pick this glove up, you know, I do pick them quite a lot as I go through sort of my months and months of training that I do and my everyday sort of boxing because they either of these gloves is great to spar in. So round 11 performance it's a 10 10 round. Then we come on to round 12 value for money. Value for money this glove here is around 380 pounds to 430 pounds the normal winning gloves are around 250 to 300. Uh, obviously, this is a custom colour and it's got the bigger Velcro. 
hence why more cost. Uh, but do I think that this glove is worth that much more than a normal winning glove? I don't think it is. You know, a normal winning glove, 250 to 300. This is 380 to 430. Yeah, it's worth the money, but there is a massive jump in between a normal winning glove and a custom glove. In terms of value for money for the Sabas Super Soft, they are always have a great round in round 12 for value for money. And the reason for that is this glove is $109.99 US dollars with $55 shipping. That is £85 and postage of £40, £42. That is a phenomenal value for money glove. And for that reason, round 12, we have 10 points to the Sabas and 8 points to the winning. Almost like there was a knockdown in that last round for the Sabas because of the value for money that this glove offers you when you buy it. Uh, we've covered all of the 12 rounds. And now it's time to come with the final score. And the final score is as follows. 117 to 116. And new. Victor Box Velcro Belt title champion is the winning black and gold custom glove. Really is superb. I mean, that was a super, super close contest. The Sabas glove has been an excellent champion. But now it's time to hand it over to the bigger Velcroed glove that is the custom glove. Yeah, it is an expensive glove. But as you can see, over the 12 rounds, it just, just got the edge. 117 to 116. We have a new champion. And this glove will defend this title going forward. This, I give you, the Victorbox Velcro Belt Champion. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to Fit to Box channel. And I shall speak to you soon. Thank you.